Welcome to Smart Accounting. Let's take a look at how to perform a journal entry. First, select Journal Entry and Payroll DC. Next, click Journal Entry. Choose your company and batch. Please note that you can use any batch for this journal entry, including batches that have already been closed. Select Currency. Remember, only invoices for the specific currency you selected will populate. If you're looking for a transaction in a different currency, please change it now. Choose the period you would like the journal entry to affect. Next, enter the transaction date and the effective date. The effective date dictates where the transaction will land in your report. For instance, if you choose an effective date that is a week from today, this is the date the transaction will appear on your report. Enter a description for the transaction and click the arrow next to the Journal Source Code field. Select Journal Entry. The debit and credit field are system generated. When you enter the amount below, these fields will populate. The line number will automatically populate when you tab through to the GL production field. Enter that information now, along with the location and episode you want to reference when moving the funds. Choose the account from which you would like to take the funds. Also, if needed, enter the set. Entering information in the free fields is not necessary. If you tab past the description, the description from the top section will automatically populate. If you would like the description to be different, you can update the information now. Enter the amount you would like moved. Tab down to the next row. The GL, location, and episode information will populate from line 1 if you tab through them. Enter the account to which the funds will be moved. When entering the credited amount in line 2, you must either use a minus sign or put the amount in parentheses to dictate that you are crediting that account. Tab out of this field. Check to make sure your credit and debit match in the fields above, and click the save icon or press F6. A pop-up window will display with your new transaction number. Now you can audit and post the transaction once ready. And that's performing a journal entry in Smart Accounting. Thanks for watching.